Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about castor oil and demonstrating how to make a castor oil pack. If you're unfamiliar with castor oil, you're going to want to stay tuned. There's a lot to learn. If you are familiar with castor oil, it's likely due to the fact you were made to drink it at some point in your lifetime. I can promise you, drinking it will be nowhere within my recommendations. So what is castor oil? Castor oil comes from the Racinus communis plant. They take the seeds or the bean and they press it into the oil. It is very nutrient dense. When sourcing castor oil, quality does matter. You're going to want to source the castor oil that is cold pressed and hexane free. And I prefer my castor oil be packaged in glass. What are the benefits of castor oil? It is the oil that penetrates deepest into the skin and tissues. It's moisturizing to the skin and also to the hair. And because it is so nutrient dense, it offers detoxification to all major organ systems. When making a pack, there are four components. You're going to want a material, either reusable or disposable. I have a reusable option here. It is an, a wool flannel. They also make a cotton flannel. And then I have disposable options, cotton gauze pads in a couple different sizes. You're also going to want to have something that offers a protective layer between the material you're going to put the castor oil on and your clothing or anything else you may come into contact with. For that, I suggest using Ziploc bags. It's a little bit better than saran wrap because it's easier to work with. You wanna take whatever material you're using for the castor oil and leave about a half an inch around the material for the plastic. So about like that. And a quart size Ziploc baggie will be just fine for either size. Obviously, if you're doing something larger, you're going to want to use a gallon size Ziploc. Or even cutting a gallon size down the seam and opening it up. You just got to be creative and it, just adjust it to what your needs are. So that's the material. And that's what you're going to use to protect your clothing and anything else you might come into contact with. And then the third component is going to be what you're going to secure the castor oil pack with. So I love these ace bandages. They're made from 100% organic cotton. They're very soft and very comfortable to wear. A disposable option would be saran wrap, but it's plastic. I don't love putting plastic in direct contact with the body, and it's not all that comfortable either. These ace bandages come in a variety of sizes. So if you're doing a smaller pack, this one is perfect. You just put the pack right where your wound or injury is and go ahead and wrap it up. Now, once you have it secured, you're going to want to have a heating source. So there's a few different options. This one requires electricity. It's just your traditional type heating pad. I love this one. Just use a microwave if you have one. And it takes about three minutes, two and a half on each side to warm the whole thing up. It's very soft and it goes on just like a belt. It's got full coverage for the abdomen and also for the back. So that's another option as well. And then a good old water bottle. This one works really well, stays hot for a long time. This is a 100% organic cotton cover and it's just really nicely insulated. Now there is another option. I consider it to be an all-in-one kit. It's excellent for if you're doing castor oil packs on your liver or your kidneys or your uh, lower pelvic region. 
There's a lot of these on the market, but I chose this particular one because it doesn't use these straps. Most of the ones I see have two straps. Well, they'll co connect to the bigger pad. One strap will go here and one strap will go here. I don't prefer that option. I don't like that my skin bulges out in between the straps and I don't find that comfortable. So I was thrilled when I found this. It's a wider belt. It's just one piece. It comes with a detachable organic cotton flannel. Now this doesn't say organic cotton anywhere on the product, only in the description on Amazon. So I am trusting the source here, but it's one long pack. They do include that strap if you need to extend it. That's what the strap is used for, but otherwise, it's as simple as putting your castor oil on, putting it where you want it to be, and then securing it in the back, just like that. Obviously, that's not going to work for the hand or the foot or the shoulder or the knee. So this really is a specific use application for the liver, the kidneys, or the pelvic region. But it's an all-in-one kit because it has the material, and the protectant, this PLU material, which is a plastic-based material, but it's not placed directly on the skin. That offers a protective layer and offers insulation. So you use your own body heat for your heat source. So I like that a lot. When I do my castor oil pack, I put it on my liver and my kidneys and I rotate nightly. I sleep with mine on because I like to use the fact that I'm sleeping and not doing daily activities with it on, it's just not as user friendly while I'm going about my day. So I use that block of time when I'm sleeping to take care, you know, I'll take the benefits from the castor oil. Another option for castor oil are doing castor oil packs on the eyes. You won't use the same method of application. For the eyes, you just use your finger and have a protective layer. This is a wool and linen mask, which is what I wear at night. So you take your castor oil and just put it on your finger and gently pat it on your eyelids. And if you have dark circles under your eyes, you're going to want to gently don't pull your skin, just pat it right underneath your eye. A little bit goes a long way. So apply the castor oil on your eyelid, below your eye, and then put the mask on to sleep. It'll protect your pillow and anything else you might come into contact while you're sleeping. So you've successfully done your castor oil pack. If you have a reusable one, how do you store it? We use glass. The eye mask fits nicely in this size mason jar, quart size, and castor oil pack of this size will fit nicely in the mason jar as well. This doesn't fit nicely in the mason jar, obviously, so I found this glass container that it fits in quite perfectly. You can also use Ziploc baggies. The large one will fit in this size baggie just fine. And of course, the smaller ones will fit in a quart size. Just adjust depending on the size you're using. You want to store it in something that's airtight to prevent it from having yeast and bacteria out of the air get into the, the oil. So those are the four components of a castor oil pack. How much castor oil do you want to use? So I suggest you just adjust according to the size pad you're using. So for a pad of this size, you're going to use maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, 
This is our three C's oil that we make here at Maker's Mark Herbals. We don't package it in a fancy jar or put a label on it. It's good enough just in this for us. Use about a half a teaspoon there. I'm going to put it on the pad. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Rub it in a little bit. Rub it in. A bit more. Rub it in. A bit more. Rub it in. And then you put that at the site of injury or wherever you're trying to dissolve lumps and bumps and help repair tears and other injuries to ligaments and tissues. So that's, that's about that much for this size. For this larger size, I might use a teaspoon, or if I can fit a little bit more on there, I might use a tablespoon. For this size, I use about two tablespoons. And then I aim to put the castor oil, same as here, right in the middle. Because through use, the castor oil is going to spread to the sides of the pad. Our special blend of castor oil here at Maker's Mark Herbals we call Three C's Oil because the ingredients in it all start with a C. We have castor oil, comfrey leaf, and cayenne pepper. Castor oil serves as the carrier oil because it's going to get the benefits of the comfrey leaf and the cayenne deep into the skin and into the tissues, which is what we want. You only want to use the Three C's Oil on superficial wounds or wounds that are below the skin, but the skin is closed. You don't want to use comfrey on any deep wounds. It's been known to cause superficial healing without getting to the deeper wound, and you definitely don't want that. So when using the three C's oil, please keep that in mind. Also, uh, we put cayenne pepper in it because anywhere cayenne pepper is placed on the body, it draws blood to the area. So if you're putting it here, you'll like on your hand or anywhere you put it, you'll start to feel a warmth to that area because it's increasing the circulation to that area and bringing fresh new blood to that area to effectively increase the rate of wound healing. Wherever there's new blood, there's healing. That's our three C's oil. I am starting to include jojoba oil mixed into the castor oil for the superficial wounds, just because castor oil itself is sticky. It's really thick and it will absorb nicely into the body, but it will still leave a little bit of a sticky feeling. So by mixing in jojoba oil, that helps to increase its absorption and afterfeel a bit better. Jojoba is a thinner, dry oil, and it's said to be closest to our natural sebum. So it absorbs really nicely into the skin and leaves a really nice feel uh, once you apply it. That will be available in the four ounce dropper bottle, the um, castor oil mix with the jojoba oil. We're going to continue to just do the larger eight ounce bottle, just castor oil, not mixing any jojoba in because the eight ounce bottle is a better quantity if you're doing the castor oil packs and then it doesn't matter how well it feels absorption wise because you're putting a cap, cap or excuse me, you're putting a pack on it anyways. And then another product we have at Maker's Mark Herbals using castor oil is our rosemary oil. In this oil, we use castor oil and jojoba oil together because they make a great team, and then we infuse rosemary leaf into that. Rosemary is known for nourishing the hair follicles and encouraging hair growth and regeneration. So the castor oil helps to get the benefits of the rosemary deeper into the follicle, and the jojoba thins out the oil so it's better for application. That's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. 
Also, any feedback you have to offer me, I appreciate it all. I will link all the products that I've shown you in the comment section below as well. I hope that will offer you some convenience if you're wanting to start doing castor oil packs yourself. And please do share this video. Uh, share the good news about castor oil packs. Thank you for watching.